Hi, let's have a look at this Microsoft Power Automate Community Forum thread. So here user got an input list which contains a couple of team names, metric and then few months from January to all the way to December. What we are looking here is to find the output list which will have a consoled, consolidated total amount of metric for each matrix such as here metric 1 for team A and team A and team B that means for the January total it will be 2 plus 2 4 uh, then for the February it will be 5 plus 3 8 such and such yeah okay so I made another video regarding uh, you know how to do a total uh, from the list view so this is slightly different so I'll show you how to build this flow so let's start building this floor now. So for the demonstration purpose, I'm going to make this as manual trigger. You can make it whenever a record is created or you know when a record is modified, it's up to you know the business scenario here, business scenario. Okay, so after the first uh, step, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say get items. Okay, so SharePoint connector, uh, get items. Okay, my um, SharePoint list is called Team Metrics. I'll show you my SharePoint list. So this is the one I just created. It just ignore the you know the groupings which I did, but the grouping we want there is actually Team at, uh, in an another list to get that total. So this is the, you know this way we can arrange arrange this this list. So if I take uh, the group by metric. Uh, you know you can see that here uh, or if I apply a group by metric I could get the totals of team A and team B here so for this what I did here is I need to go to the list of settings and uh, edit that view all items that's uh, that's the view we just saw and here I selected um, the group by and I select the metric that's all it is nothing else okay um, so that's a reason you are seeing that a total is there. Okay, but remember our aim is to get the in another list to get the metric one for both teams. Yeah, or you know what the total team is. So the whole idea to get this flow is to build uh, you know the 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 flow using the get items to get all the items. But in the next step, what I'm going to do here is. Um, if you look my let me remove the filter here so my plan is to get uh, you know met how many metrics we got so if we can get and filter by metric one then we get all the values of the teams for that matrix so in this case it will be team a, team a and team b then when i filter it yeah but first the idea is to find the unique uh, you know the values of the metric okay so for that what we need to do here is we need to do a select okay so I'm going to add a select here okay so data operation select all right okay so in the select I'm going to select the value then the idea is click on the T sign here then place your cursor inside and search for metric and what we want to map here is the metric actually here okay metric so let me see that that's the value we want okay so let me run this and uh, see what we are going to get so it's easy to run you know when, whenever we build a flow uh, so build up some steps and try to run it make sure no errors and expecting the results as you know the, the expected results yeah Okay, if I look my select, I can see now, see the metric, it's been selected, you know, those values, like it's an array metric, it's, it's all duplicated that because metric one, metric two, you can see again metric one and metric two, that's that's here, metric one, metric two, all that, yeah, that's what we got. So how to get the, the unique, uh, you know, the unique value then, that's a, that's a plan to, 
So for that, what we need to do here is going back to the flow again. And um, get the okay let me try this then let me try the metric value i saw metric value also let me try that okay metric value here let me run that and see what we are going to get ah here we go so we got an array with metric value then so that's what we want but there are duplicate values here so remember we want to trade this value later on with metric one and metric two against the list so that we can get the total uh, you know the records okay so the next is the compose so add a compose and then i'm going to rename this to call unique uh, metric names Alright, okay. So for that, I need a union then. So under the expression, I'm going to use union. Then selecting the first array, see the collection one and collection two. So I'm going to use the select output and again use the same one here. That's the technique here. So, so both values should be the same because we need to pass two arrays to compare to get the unique values. Here we only got one, so we're using the same for the next. Click OK that. Okay, let's run this flow again and see whether we got the unique values or not. Here we go. See that? So earlier we got all the values from the list. The next we are getting the unique values. Here it is. Right. Okay. The next thing is we are going to iterate this value and, uh, you know, then we need to filter it. So for iteration, we need to use control apply to each. So in the apply to each, we are going to get from the previous step. So this is an array with the unique metric values. So get the output. Then I'm going to add another compose. I'll give a warning. I'm going to add more compose in this exercise. Okay. Rename here. And then that I'm going to call it each metric. Okay. So that each metric. I'm going to use to iterate that unique matrix for each value. I need to use item because that's an array. Okay, let's try this. So we should get here in the apply to each, we should have two loops one metric one, the second one should be metric two now. Okay, here it is. See that metric one we got second loop we got metric two right okay so what's next then so the next value is what we want to do here is okay so before that i need to allocate a couple of uh, things here for declaring some variables and all so i'm going to come back to that in a minute that but um, we'll continue with the same apply to each loop now um, so the next thing is we need to filter it yeah so for the filter now the plan is because we got remember we got uh, metric one so that we can use uh, the same list to say hey go go and uh, filter by metric one okay so that's the next step so i'm going to add a filter array here filter array all right okay and here i'm going to select the same value coming from the get items that's it then the metric value we want to match metric value is equal to the output of the each metric which is the item yeah you can either map your item or the output of that i'm going to use the output of the each metric each metric here it is okay right let's try to run this and see what we are going to get right okay flow ran successfully there are two here the first one is the metric one we are filtering against the the values coming from the get items passing into the filter array so that we got here the show row output we can see here uh, you know there are two values here see there are two here two metric one values here 
you can see from my SharePoint list team A and team B okay same for if I click on the next that's for metric 2 also here it is okay right so we done the hard work the next thing we need to do here is we need to get the month totals now each month totals yeah so that so that means we need to collect for each month for January February March all the way to December and then adding up those numbers so that's the plan okay so for that I need to do a couple of things here so um, I'm going to add a couple of variables here it's all your um, uh, it's all going to make sense in a minute so I'm going to declare after the get items I'm going to declare a variable called array then okay so variable um, called initialize an array and I'm going to rename that to final totals there it is then make the variable name as final totals and that type is an array value there here it is okay and next thing we want to use for each for each month we want that also remember for the each month against uh, you know team a team team a for team a and b for metric one each month we want january february march so for that i need another variable to uh, help me here so i'm going to declare another variable which is going to be uh, let me take the initialize variable here and i'm going to call this uh, each month totals each month totals and then here I'm going to say each month uh, totals and that's going to be a string value also here it is okay again now we need to find January February March all the way to December so instead of you know putting it in individual steps I got another technique here which I'll explain it I'm going to use the compose and rename this to months okay and then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use January February all the way to December here it is okay just comma separated values okay and um, that's what we want because we need to find for each month the totals yeah so remember that's what we want here January total February total like that right the next thing is because I need to iterate this value later on I'm going to use another combos here Okay, and rename this to split months. Okay, so for that I need a split expression now. So uh, for um, so what I need to do here is I need to click on the expression and type split split the months which I just declared earlier. So go to the dynamic content, keep going down here. You will be able to see the months here. Yeah. With comma separated it is comma separated it is so our separator is comma and two single quotes inside that click OK that here we, here we go that's it yeah so that's our expression so let me copy this expression I can add that as add that as a note here we go that's the expression we used right so let me save this so these are the variables we need this uh, you know for the below steps so next thing is i'm going to iterate the values now so under the apply to each which i declared earlier so here i'm going to add another apply to each so again under the control apply to each two now then here i'm going to map the split months you know the split months we just did here using the expression so that i can read individually january february all the way to december that's the whole idea so going here and uh, map the value there okay so search for the output and then look for each month then split months there we go that's the one we want split months right then well, the next step is i'm going to add another compose again adding another compose so remember this apply to each is within the first apply to each okay then here for this one i'm going to rename and call each month so to iterate the array and get each value the expression always is item that's it click okay that okay let me run this and see everything is okay 
So in this apply to each, we should be able to see uh, January to all the way to December then as a loop. Okay. So let's see that. All right then. So if I go here, I should be able to see, see one of two here, each metric, metric one. For, for metric one, we are finding each month. See that January, then click next, February, all the way to December. Yeah. And if I, if I type, type plus, plus enter here, let's see that changes. Yeah, it changes that to December. See that all the way to December. Then here, if I click on next, that's a metric two. Then it starts again with January all the way to, uh, you know, click next, February, March, all the way to December. Okay, that's good. So next thing is we want to find, select each month figures now, don't you? So for that, adding another action inside the apply to each called select. Okay, so use the select. And inside that we want to get the body of the body of the filter array. Yeah, so uh, the body of the filter array coming from the here, this one here, the filter array. Yeah, so this is the value we want now because this contains all the values remember this contains for team a team b everything yeah so what we what i'm going to do here is we uh, uh, for against the metric one or metric two depends yeah so here i'm going to add the body of that filter array so if you keep going down you'll be able to see filter array body here see that that's one we need to map here okay then rename this to immediately rename that to select each month figures here we go then here i'm only interested in the each out item of the each month only okay so for that i need to use an expression here so for uh, what i need to do here is go to the expression and type item so inside that i'm only interested in the output of the each item this one so Here we go. Yeah, click OK that. Let's see what we are going to get from there. Let me run this and show you. Okay, the test run, the flow is running now. So if I go to the first one for metric one. So let's see then. So in the filter array, we got the first values against the metric one we filtered. Then we are looking for each month, January, give me the each month figures. See that? I got the month figure output here as two. See that? Yeah, that's what I got. Ah, okay, I need to investigate this Y2 blank there. Let me investigate this. Sorry, it's my bad. My mapping was not quite right there. So let me take this mapping. I'm going to copy this, remove the mapping. I need to create that as the text mode mapping here, like that. Under the expression, I need to put that. Remove that and sign there. Here we go, that's where it is. So now if I run this, remember for the metric one, it's going to filter first, so let me go here. Metric one, we got, we should get two and two. And for metric two, we should get three and six for January. Yeah. And for February, we should get for metric one, five and three. Then for metric two, it should be five and three also. So let's have a look. That's January. So it should be two and two. Here we go. Yeah. And next February, it should be five and three we said where we found out five and three here we go and then if i click on the next remember that's for the next metric which is metric two we filtered against that metric two then we are finding the total that is that is three and six let's have a look that is three and six let's see that's metric uh, metric two three and six here it is for February, it should be five and three, then it's four and two then for March, and so and so, let's have a look. So click next, 
here we go that's 5 and 3 fantastic and then the third one it is 4 and 2 there we go so that's easy now yeah now the next one is we need to find the total and then we need to get this as a 6 or 8 or whatever the number is don't you yeah so that you know we can update that into the second list so for that I need to, we need to use another technique here so within the apply to each I'm going to add another compose here okay so adding another compose right and rename this to json for each month okay it will make sense in a minute right and i'm going to add a specific um structure here so i'm going to add a two curly brackets then root then this output you see that output is coming from the each month here this output yeah then colon then this is the output of the select each month figures all right okay so that means i can use an x path uh, total to get uh, uh, to uh, to get the total then that's the whole idea about it so otherwise you know we need to iterate and add it i don't like the loopings because it takes more time in power automate to do the jobs so i'm going to add another compose here adding another compose okay rename that to each month total each month total then under the expression i'm going to use this expression here i'll explain the expression in a minute i'll add that in the add not also here it is so that means say this here i'm going to say give me the x path of output of the previous step which is json for each month comma concat sum of slash root slash output of each month which is dynamic which is january february all the way through that okay let's run this and see the totals now so we should be able to see four uh, eight things like that the numbers now so if i look here for that metric one for january so let's select those two records for team a and team b it should be two plus two four then it should be 5 plus 3, 8. Then it should be 6 plus 6, 12. 10 plus 9, 19. Yeah. So let's have a look. That's the last step. Getting the dot. Here we go. 4. Click next. That's for metric 1. 8. 12. Yeah. That's what we found out. Isn't it? Yeah. That's 6 plus 6. Next should be 19. Let's have a look. 19 or not. For the April. So select each month. See, that's for April. That's 19. Here we go. So that's easy then. Yeah, that's the way you do it. It's very useful uh, thing to use XPath in, uh, you know, for finding the sums. Um, so that's what it is. Yeah, so find the each total. Now we want, what I'm going to do here is, because we want to use this later actually. So I'm going to uh, add another compose here. Okay, and call this, rename this to so always rename and give some meaningful name total uh, json total for each month okay for that i'm going to map everything dynamic like this double quotation this output is the each month yeah that is each month coming from january february or this from this step this one here then this one here coming from the just the previous step which is the output of the each month total that is that so two double quotations within that both of them are inside two double quotations then you got a colon separator okay yeah so what i'm going to do here is i need this value later on so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to use append to string because we want everything then at the end like from january to all the way to december yeah so i'm going to use append to string then select each month totals here it is and use the output of this one then previous the json for each month yeah so let's go back and map that value there that's done okay so but what are going to happen here is because we are using um, uh, you know this format we want to use a separate technique here like the whole idea is we want to um, I'll show I'll show you I'll show you in a minute that uh, it will make sense I'm going to add an if condition first and I'll explain it 
For the last value, we don't want a comma afterwards because we are appending the string with comma separations. Yeah. So what I'm going to look here is I'm going to look the each month, which is here, the each month. So search for output again and look for the each month here. Here we go. That's a each month. Each month is equal to December. Yeah, if it is December, it's not equal to, sorry. If it is not equal to December, then I need a comma after this append to string. That means if it's after January, I need a comma, then February comma all the way to December, I don't need a comma. That's the whole idea there. So add append to string. Then each totals put a comma. That's it. That's all we need to do there. That's done. Okay. Once that done, I think we pretty much done with the loop and all. So the next thing we can do here is uh, the final value. Okay. So basically I want to iterate this value as a pass JSON also. So the technique here is I'm going to minimize this apply to each completely now. Yeah. See that. Then, uh, oh, sorry. No, minimize the apply to each two only. Yeah. Before that, just before that, remember. I'm going to add another append to string here. Append to string. Take the each totals, put a left curly bracket, same constructing my own dynamic, uh, you know, the JSON value. That's the reason. Then after the apply to each, because it's constructing all these totals and appending the strings with comma separated, after that, I need to close with uh, another one there. So uh, let's let's add another one here outside that. Yeah. So outside the apply to each two, then again the same thing. Apply it to string. Append to string. Sorry. Append to string. And select each month totals. Close the bracket with the right hand close curly bracket. Save it. Okay. That's that. Okay, now I'm going to add a combos. This is not necessary, but I'm just going to add a combos and show you what the result we are going to get. So let's add a combos and map the each month totals. All right, okay. Let me save this. So I'm saving that now. And I'm going to test this now and see the result. Okay. right okay let's go and have a look right let's go and have a look that now okay so here it is see january 4 february all the way up there now see nicely done that don't you but we want to attach this result this result into metric one then in the loop two when i click on next this result we want to link into the uh, the other one which is the, the next one is the metric two, yeah? Right, okay then, so let's have a look. See, here it is, see that, we linked with metric one, all the values we got see easy now yeah next i'm going to click next here you can see that will be here metric two here you go so we related with metric one with the team totals from january to all the way to december all right okay so that's done then the next challenge here is the final total output don't you yeah so what we need to do here is we need to use append to string all right okay then rename this to call append to string final totals for each month so that is final totals Oh, I can't see the final total here. Let me go and declare it. I thought I declared that final totals. That's an array there. 
So let me investigate that. Ah, okay. So um, I I got it wrong. The wrong action I used. Let me copy the same text because I want to reuse that. Let me delete that. That's append to array variable. It append to array actually. Append to array. That's what I need here. Ah, here we go. Final totals. Yeah. Right. Remember we declare that above here. Final totals here. Here it is. Yeah. Then here I need to map the final uh, the append to array string uh, for each month. I need to map the the output of the each metric for the full year. This one, the previous output. So if I go down here, you can see the first one here. That's the one we want to map. Okay. Then we want to reset our each month totals because we after this we are going to iterate to the next one, don't you? So use a set variable. set variable to reset the totals for the next metric 2 metric 3 so and so so for that we need to say each month totals i'm going to reinitialize to null to null now yeah okay so that's that loop then the parent loop is finished now after that all i'm going to do use now is i'm going to minimize everything now we are done now then so i'll show you that again there's too many steps here so these four steps one two three four sorry five steps should be after the apply to each two remember that okay and that the apply to each step got these are the steps okay right now finally and i'm going to add a compose here you don't need this compose but this for debugging purpose you can see what's the final total here is i'm going to add the final totals here let me run this and show you the final total result you nearly there now all right okay then so flow running ran successfully let's see the final total here we go see that we attach the metric one metric two like that as an array now nicely so now it's very easy now all i need is copy this and copy that content click on edit then i'm going to use the pass json because it's a json format now pass json get the output value coming from the combos to or you can directly map the final totals here it's up to you so i'm going to map the final totals here then generate from the sample value that okay now if i add a compose now again add a compose so the beauty here now is if i go and say see that now here i can see metric one metric two so if i select metric one it's in a loop now that's fine then run that let's see what we are going to get okay so under the apply to each uh, the final one you can see see that my metric one i got this value here see so all i need is copy this value here like that edit then add another pass json inside another pass json map the value coming from the previous output combos 3 this is a metric don't you yeah this one combos 3 generate from the sample with the data i just copied then if i look this combos now here add a compose and looking the dynamic values here you should be able to get january february all the values see i'm going to put january here put it hyphen february hyphen march hyphen all the way to december you just put december there i'm just going to ignore the other mappings there okay okay let's run it again oh my flow failed let me go and have a look there is some null path it says let me edit it and have a look that so here i got all the values i think so i got null then now apply to each yeah i got that values there in the second one i think ah okay so uh, right so that means in here ah i haven't got 
the second one let me find it ah, okay i found out the reason so here we are using metric one then we are getting the pass json two for the metric one data only when we pass second time it's this in you know, the mapping is not quite right there so we can't use that there let me delete that let me delete this also right so what you need to do here is you need to use this expression to get the values now so add a note here it is see that to access now the metric one january value you need this expression so that means if you're going to map this in the second list which i haven't created here like here the user mentioned there is an output list so all you need there is uh, you can map that you know directly under the totals all you need is against the metric one or metric two you need to use this kind of if, um, the expression so expression should you're looping the values then you're saying give me the metric one question mark january you know like that so you can get each values from that and then next one you can use uh you know metric uh metric two uh, that is january so let me run this Ah, okay so again we have a small issue here again let me remove that mapping there I got stumbled on this here um let me get the metric one there here we go that's metric one now yeah once you get the metric one what you could do is you could add a case statement or something like that then add the so let me go here and uh, run that again to get that value again right okay so we got metric one value here so that is this so copy that then what you need is you need to add an if condition then under the if condition what you could do here is you could say well you don't need to but there are different ways you can do it let me try this so in the past years and you're, uh, you're passing this value isn't it so let me I use another compost let's see that's going to help here making it generate that taking the output of that value which of that is coming from the compost three yeah then adding a pass json step let's see that's going to help adding a pass json step then map that generic value there which is output of that so it could be the output of the metric one or metric two that's what I'm thinking. Otherwise, we need to add multiple if conditions. Let's see if this works. Right now, I'm going to add another compose after the compo after the inside the compose. I'm going to select. Uh, I can now select January or February or whatever it is. So let me select. Let's select January. Okay, and try to run this now and see that works. That might work. I think. If not, we all we need is add an if condition to escape that error. Because then we need then you know we need to add if it's metric one do that pass and metric two do another pass like that which i don't want to do it because my schema is the same here so let's see no it's failed again yeah so see we got the first one it's run successfully that see i got four that's the total for that metric one so the failure here it is the second one i think when you go to the second one it says i don't have a values for compost for them because um, that second value is not there for that uh, you know metric two that's the reason so what we need here is so this is for metric one we got yeah that's for the past json for the metric one don't you so what we could do here is if i am going to add another compose here you could get metric two here is it so we got metric two here we go we got metric two also dynamically so in theory we could do everything in the in the first loop itself then you know so yeah that's the way you can you can then achieve this um 
so i think you got the idea about it so uh, let me go back again to show this data now okay so what i did here is there are some um, issues here so i found out so remember the values we are getting in this format here that's an array we know that's metric one this is metric two etc yeah so what i did there is i put the output as output like this as an expression here in the combos like the output of the final total yeah and that is output combos two see this one here uh, with zero index that is metric one yeah so if i copy this and add that as a note it'll make more sense okay so this will give us the value of this for that then what all we need is to trade that uh, in the past json step in the next step so we get january then i can add you know all that february i can get the individual totals now here we go all the way to december so let's see december here it is okay now for the other one all uh, you need to do is for the metric two you need to um, again so the index question mark metric two there that's all it is yeah so you will get that uh, second um, value as a metric which is index one yeah uh, let me output that copy that so you need to replicate that steps again you can use a child flow to pass this and then you can iterate it using that way so because it's one flow that's why it's it's quite a lot of uh, the these steps going to replicate it suppose you got 10 metrics you need to have 10 pass json otherwise which is going to be a pain so here that's going to be next index matrix one there is sorry matrix two for the index one then you know copy the pass json step again and iterate it that's all it is so okay, let's run this and see The whole idea is to, you know, get that totals in a uh, readable format. Um, sorry, not in a readable format, in a easy format so that, you know, we can go and work out this later to map into the next list item, which I found out this may be the best way, but there are other ways, definitely, you know. So this is why I'm thinking, like, I, I you know, I named as metric one, getting the totals all the way from January to December, then metric two all the way to December again then iterating it using the index and passing using the past JSON and retrieve the values yep so let's go back again see that combos five we got the second one here the earlier i just selected few four eight and nine which is january february and december for metric one let's have a look so that's four two plus four four then eight then the last two one december uh, which is eight plus one nine there we go that's the totals we got so in the final step, you know, what you could do is you could map like this in your create a new list item for the second one, which the user mentioned here, output list, then map those values there. That's that's the way, you know, you can do this. It's got a lot of steps, but it's definitely achievable. Okay. Thank you for watching. Hope this is useful.